So hello and welcome. My name is Steve Nobel and today I'm speaking with Adora Winquist on transmuting betrayal. Adora is a visionary in quantum alchemy, an evolutionary transformative path for self-mastery, which facilitates healing at the DNA level using plant and vibrational modalities. She is an innovator in the field of aromatherapy and energy medicine. She began her studies in the mid nineties when a personal health challenge caused her to look beyond traditional methods. She's the co-author of an upcoming book, Detox, Nourish and Activate, Plant and Vibrational Medicine for Energy, Mood and Love. And this is a revolutionary guide for healing at the DNA level. And it's being launched in March 2021 through the UK publisher Eon Books. And her website is adorawinquist.com. There will be a link going out with this podcast. So uh, hi, Adora. Hi, Steve. Wonderful to be here with you. Yeah, lovely connecting. Thanks for joining me. So my opening question really is about betrayal. Most people would, would recognize it. We all experience betrayal. Mostly we experience it. We may experience it physically as a pain in the body, emotionally for sure, uh, mentally, the way we, we may even look at the world in a different way afterwards. But what, what about the energetic aspect of betrayal? So excellent question. Um, I think first, it's important to have an overview and step back for a moment and know that at this juncture of time and space, here we stand with this beautiful invitation and this inner calling to be able to, as the microcosm of the macrocosm, look within to all of the places of distortion that we have in our body, in our emotional body, in our mental body, as kind of a mapping system, right? For everything that's held at the cellular level, at the DNA level. And when we look at betrayal, it's a frequency that's held in the collective consciousness that is rising for us as a representation of the macrocosm to be able to bring our awareness on the inner to kind of source the places where it's held within our being. So we all have an understanding of, yes, looking at the world right now, um, many of us are perceiving betrayal from um, uh, large technology corporations, from government, from the economic systems from all of the large institutions. But when we bring the focus on the inner, we can look at places in our own life and in our past and in our family lineage where the energy of betrayal has been held, right? Whether it's through relationship with our significant other, through our careers and through other um, relationships in our lives, we can experience that very easily on an emotional level. And the truth is, when we look down at the cellular consciousness, down through the portal of our DNA, into our mother and father bloodlines, and look back at our lineage, we can see the patterns of betrayal that have been held there. And so I like to refer to our childhood as this treasure map. This treasure map holds all of the seeds um, through our experiences of pain and suffering and trauma of everything that we've brought into this life to bring the light of divine consciousness to, to heal. And that includes everything that's been held in our past life awareness, but also everything that's been held in our lineage, right? Mm -hmm. So is this making sense? Yeah. yeah. Okay, great. Um, wonderful. So from the perspective of betrayal, how can we embody more levels of light quotient in this new reality during this time of great shift to be able to experience, embody, and co-create with the new frequencies that are available to us until we clear the density of energies that are held within our energy field, that are held within our chakras, that are held within our cells, that are held within our DNA, and that are held within our bloodlines, right? And so if you think about it from the perspective perspective of DNA, we have trillions and trillions of cells in our body, right? And so each of those cells is imprinted with every experience that we have ever had since the time of conception. So everything that we've experienced physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually is held there in our cellular consciousness and then holographically in our auric field. From the perspective of DNA, that also means that every experience that our mother and our father and their mothers and their fathers and so on through our bloodlines are held within each of our trillions of cells. So we're these incredible walking miracles of possibility of potential that have come 
into this juncture of time and space, into incarnation um, on the earth, in our specific physicality, our embodiment, in this moment to be able to bring the light of di divine consciousness and elevated consciousness in through these aspects of being for cleansing, for transmutation, to be able to lift our energy, to lift our awareness, to lift our understanding from a personal perspective, but also from a planetary perspective and universal and cosmic, right? And so that's when we can really come into the present moment with a greater understanding and awareness of our multidimensional nature and that we are incredibly powerful co-creators. But how can we co-create if we are holding density, heaviness of lower frequencies of this distorted energy? And betrayal right now is one of the frequencies of when we talk about these lower vibrations that is rising through the collective consciousness so we can see it in the, the global or planetary theater in a way that is very blatant or poignant. And then it triggers the places within our cellular consciousness where that frequency is held. So we can see that any places that we have that unresolved within our own being from the trauma, from the places of pain and suffering that we've experienced in this life, in previous lives, through the DNA, is coming up within us, bubbling to the surface right now, so we can release it and transmute it. And so the beautiful thing from the perspective of betrayal is that it's an incredible teacher of forgiveness and compassion, and not necessarily of other, first, right? It's a great teacher of compassion and forgiveness from the personal perspective. And so when we grow up with patterning from either our mother or father that has core level betrayal in there, that begins to model um, not only our perception of reality, but the types of relationships that we pull to us right? And we yeah. pull them to us so we can see it in a very clear way to be able to bring healing to ourselves. It's, uh, as you say, there's a great multidimensional aspect to this. The, the thing around which I found, I think other people have found, is that when the, wake, the awakening process starts, there's also that this wonderful light and connection and angels and crystals and it's wonderful, but there are all these programs that come up and it can be a bit overwhelming because if it's coming from this lifetime, if it's coming from the bloodlines and if it's coming from other lifetimes, it can be a bit like there's three channels playing at once or maybe many channels. And yeah. is, is there an untangling of where's it coming from? And am I just clearing it all in one layer or am I clearing mother and grandmother? Or am I clearing this lifetime in Egypt? And yeah. How do you work with it? It's like such a voluminous question, right? And um, um, a multifaceted perspective. And at the same time, I think that's where we have the power of the present moment, right? When we think about the truth that every moment has brought us perfectly in an imperfect fashion or pathway, but perfectly to this moment, right? To bring the light of presence and divine consciousness to everything from the past. Because in this moment, we have the ability to transform everything from the past, which transforms our entire path for the future and all the generations to come before us. So I think this is one of the areas where the, the frequencies of the plant um, and vibrational medicine and the kingdoms of plant and mineral in particular have such a tremendous potency to offer us from an alchemical perspective for healing at the quantum level, at the core level, at the DNA level. And because the nature of the plants and the minerals work synergistically because their vibrational patterns are different, but they have tremendous ability to come in through the auric field to repair, to come in through the energy centers to balance, to cleanse and to purify, and to come into the cellular consciousness and repattern. Right, And because we're working from a multi-dimensional perspective, we are holographic in nature. 
So when we're bringing healing, I like to think of this from in, uh, the perspective of infinity, right? Working with sacred geometry and the infinity symbol. We're working to bring higher frequency in through the auric field for cleansing and purification to lift our vibration and simultaneously to do the same at the cellular level. Right. Because just like we, we know, once we kind of go through this awakening process and we're starting to open up to see so many things, sometimes the pendulum swings us into these higher chakras. But for us to sustainably be able to shift, to heal, to transform and to elevate, we have to work the frequencies from the lower chakras as well and from the cellular consciousness. Yeah. So being able to address it at that level and have the awareness that it's really a continuum from that perspective of infinity um, allows us to connect with the infinite light of divine consciousness and move that through the totality of our being for sustainable shifts of transformation and physical health and well-being, right? Because we know, and we, for those of us that have been in this field for a very long time, we know that from the perspective of spirituality, when we open to that, it becomes easy to use that as a mask and not work through the deeper layers of what's held within our consciousness, our subconscious, right? Which continues to play out and create reality until we bring shift and wholeness to it. Um, that the lower frequencies, the grounding and really working at the physical physical level is just as important as working at the auric level or energetic or higher vibrational level as well yeah does that make sense that's, yeah that's beautiful absolutely can i just clarify i think um what you've said and i this is what i kind of feel that we can replay these old patterns in this lifetime which is a, you're kind of suggesting i think rightly that it's a, a, an opportunity to heal stuff that's gone on layers before. So if you, your lover betrays you, your boss betrays you, and you feel it intensely vibrating through your being, you're feeling all the other layers. And that's the opportunity then to clear those layers. Exactly, exactly. Because yeah. they're all held in this moment, right? Yeah. And, and, and until we go to the very root of the distorted energy, the conflict or the trauma that's held at the subconscious level, held within our cells, within our body, our emotions and our DNA, that reality continues to project itself and create our perception, create yeah. our relationship, create the abundance that we have in our lives or lack thereof, the health and our ability to give and receive love and intimacy on the deepest levels and layers that we crave. Well, I think in some bloodlines, for example, the energy of betrayal may be very, very strong for example, would be um, an, an, um, slavery, you know, people who have been betrayed into slavery, like I think it, what happened in Africa was that actually a lot of people were actually betrayed by their own, you know, uh, next tribe or so there's a whole lot of that kind of thing going on. I had a land, I had the land clearing here today. And one of the issues that came up on the land was of a, of um, a stabbing in the back of people who made an oath to protect each other somewhere way back on the you know anglo-saxon times or whatever and that was not honored and there was a stabbing or a breaking of the oath and that was vibrating even in the land which was like incredible like wow it's even in the land there which was affecting us of course in some way yeah um so this this is kind of this can go very deep in many many ways and it's it sounds like awareness is a first step awareness of there is something vibrating is a very good place to start is that right yeah, I, I love that way that you frame that awareness is key, right? Because awareness is like opening the door, even if it's just a crack, right? Yeah. And then there's an invitation, right? Inviting in our guidance system, right? Our spiritual teachers or guides or however we frame it to show us the places within with ease and grace of where this energy of distortion separation of profound forgetting right because that's what it is always it's here is this gift and that's one of the beautiful um, opportunities and of course sometimes rubs of this earth plane right and coming into this uh, third dimensional yeah. matrix yeah. to be able to have all of this activated within us as part of our evolutionary path as part of the pathway to remember the spark of divinity and sovereignty that resides within all of us, that unites all of us. 
I think on your blog, um, Adora, you mentioned at least two crystals, which are very healing. I don't know if you want to say something about that. I think uh, geranium was was one. Uh, sorry, two um, not crystals. Was two it two oil. essential oils? Wasn't it? Mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I love combining um, the essential oils and crystals with the meditations mm -hmm. because it allows us to amplify the energy and anchor it in a much more quantum way. Um, and so from an essential oil perspective, and when we do our meditation in a few minutes, uh, we'll be working with an essential oil. And one thing that's really important, and I like to say this, is that um, even if you don't have that essential oil at home, it's okay, because we'll be working with the cosmic consciousness and life force. But from an essential oil perspective, the geranium, which has a beautiful resonance with the divine feminine and bringing healing to those frequencies through the bloodline, right? Because our being first opens up to receive the frequency of the essential oil from the perspective of our aura, from the perspective of our chakras and meridian points, which are smaller chakras, uh, from the perspective of our cellular consciousness, the oils open this up particularly through the potent connection between olfaction and the limbic center of our brain that regulates so much of our physiology, but in particular mood and memory and emotion. And so with the right essential oils and the right context, we can literally not only clear um, old patterns and densities of energy, but help to repattern healthier, higher vibrational neural pathways because when we smell the oil it creates a new memory cell within the limbic system and within our cellular consciousness and so it becomes a way that we can not only enhance but encapsulate the frequency um, that will stay with us within our being far beyond the moments of the meditation Right, and then working with the crystals and particularly malachite, I love for working with betrayal because it merges the um, male and female aspects within in such a balancing way. And when we're dealing with betrayal, it's through both of the bloodlines. So geranium is wonderful from the female bloodline perspective and immortal helichrysum is wonderful. Uh, and super potent um, from the male perspective because the bloodlines um, are also held within our personality aspects, right? Because whether we have physical form in the um, female or male pers perspective, we still have the feminine and the masculine aspects of our personality as well as the child consciousness aspect. And when we are here in this triad um, of looking at these different personality aspects and working in the triad frequency of this planetary system, we have the opportunity to bring healing to these three areas or aspects so we can then fully embody and anchor our divine purpose, right? Our life purpose, the reason that we're here and then expand that through our essence and our quintessence through everything that we do. Well, Adora, I'm gonna pass it over to you to do a meditation and uh, yeah. Great. Thank you so much, yeah, cool. Okay, wonderful. Um, so let's start out with uh, an essential oil. I mentioned geranium, um, immortel. This morning I was guided to pick up ylang ylang, which is wonderful for um, bringing this healing energy, this energy of clearing and cleansing and purification into the heart. So if you have an essential oil, you can put a drop on your left hand that receives higher frequency and then take a deep breath in. can breathe in for about 30 seconds as you invite in the clarity of your intention for this meditation. If you have a crystal that you'd like to use, you can hold it or place it on your body. You can anoint your crystal with the oil if you choose to. And on the next breath in, bring the focus of your attention down to the Dantian point, which is about an inch and a half below your navel. Inviting your breath to move with ease and grace in this area. And the Dantian is that single note that holds you into physical form.
Now inviting a golden line of light to drop down from the very center of your Dantian, down through the root chakra, and simultaneously, simultaneously down through each leg, moving out through the soles of the feet, all three lines of light converging at the earth crush chakra and sink. Moving down effortlessly through each layer of the earth connecting in with the core crystal sinking deeply into the safety the security at the very center of the earth and as you bring your consciousness to this place You begin to see, feel, allow, imagine. A green chamber of crystalline light that surrounds you. Breathe as the emerald rays of light begin to emanate from the crystalline structures. Filling you with a sense of warmth. Connection. and the sacred presence of Mother Gaia. Feel yourself seated at the very center of this chamber in a throne of malachite that is shaped perfectly to fit your body. Allowing a deeper sense of relaxation to Move through your breath, through your body, as you open to the recalibration from the crystalline structure and the emerald rays of light that are beginning to move down through your field into each level of the auric field into the blood, bone, and marrow. Within this sacred chamber of emerald light,
you begin to feel the presence of your spiritual teachers, guides, guardians, angels. The light of your I am presence. As you bring your awareness up to the third eye and crown, you begin to notice a golden ray of light coming down through the higher realms from the throne of divine consciousness, source light. This ray of light now individuating into a myriad of golden rays raining down upon you filled with sacred geometric formations. permeating down to your cellular consciousness through the portal of your DNA into your mother and father bloodlines now. We invite the cosmic consciousness and vital life force of ylang ylang, geranium, immortel, and malachite to actualize and actuate within each cell particle, subatomic particle and structure down through the DNA and bloodlines at a potency of 10 mm now. Breathe deeply. On the next breath in, bring the focus of your intention, consciousness, to the very center of your heart space, to the holy of holies, to the zero point field of limitless potential. In the very center of this space, you will see a pool of liquid light at your feet, emanating silver and platinum rays.
And into this pool we invite you to release all patterns, imprints, configurations, thoughts, mental constructs, emotions, all frequencies and templates attached to betrayal, that which is held within your auric field, connected into the third dimensional matrix and distortions within government, financial institutions, distortions within technology, pharmaceutical, agriculture, all constructs of betrayal in the third dimensional reality. We invite you to release all patterns of betrayal held within the bloodlines in relationship with mother, father, through the mother and father bloodlines, back to the point of origination, undifferentiated source light, All places held within the shadow of the subconscious that are ready to be released and transmuted. Offer these to the pool of liquid light. Transmuting into compassion, forgiveness. For millennia, betrayal has been held through the collective consciousness. And it is through your love. Your forgiveness. your compassion, your embrace of your soul and your soul path.
your embrace of those that have come before you through your lines, mother and father. You may see or experience those of your lines coming before you for communion, emanating their great love for your light, your courage, Breathe as each level of your field recalibrates down to the cellular consciousness. Imprinting this new level of light quotient through your cells, your DNA, your bloodlines. Offer a prayer of great gratitude to yourself in each and every moment that has brought you perfectly here and now. We offer this healing for the earth and all kingdoms of life upon this sacred planet. All life is sacred. May each kingdom of life, plant, mineral, animal, and human awaken to the remembrance of the spark of divinity and sovereignty that resides with in each of us, unites all of us. you have oil left on your hand, you can breathe it in to complete this circuit, this new memory cell. Anchoring this healing and new level of consciousness and light. that resides within and all around you. So be it.